श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो हे कृष्णा करुणा साधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेशांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री गदाधार श्रीवासि हरे कृष्णा हरे 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 so today we will skip chanting we will skip kirtan okay today we will directly jump into the shlokas okay because today what i did is i have covered all the shlokas important shlokas of chapter 3 so there are some 8 9 shlokas so if we do kirtan and chanting then we will not get much time for the shlokas okay so i will say it once you repeat after me unmute and repeat after me and then you can uh, two two shlokas per person we will take okay so first is finger first <laughs> okay chalo <laughs> i you do not have to say anything you just have to raise your hands okay i will see and i will no one says anything just raising hands okay come on everyone repeat after me unmute and repeat after me यज्ञार्थात्मनोत्रोकोय वेरी नाइस वॉट डज दिस मीन दैट वॉट एवर वर्क यू डू यू शुड डू एज अ सैक्रिफाइस टू विष्णु वी शुड ऑफर आवर फ्रूट्स टू कृष्णा इफ वी ऑफर आवर फ्रूट्स टू कृष्णा देन वी विल नॉट गेट बाइंडेड बाय द एक्शन What does action mean? If we do good karma, we will have to come here to enjoy the good karma. If we do bad karma, we will have to suffer. We will have to come here to suffer for the bad karma. So, if we do all our actions as an offering to Krishna, then we will not get binded by our actions. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Akshara. Yes, Mata Ji. Yagna thad karma no nyatra loko yam karma bandana ha tad artham karma konte ya mukta sanga samachara. Very nice. Yes, Aditya. Yes, Yes, it is visible. It is visible. It is visible. Okay. So yes, it's very clear. Okay. Okay. We'll take one more. Okay. Yes, Nityansh. Sorry. Yes, come on. Sorry. 
Yes, yes, I will give chance to everyone. Don't worry. Yes, ma'am. Yagnathat karma no natra loko yam karma bandanaha tad artham karma deya ka sangho samachara. Very nice. Next look. Repeat after me. Everyone unmute and repeat after me. See, we have a shloka contest and that is why we are taking this division. Okay, you will not be able to learn 20 shlokas otherwise if you do not practice. Okay, so everyone unmute and repeat after me. This is the practice that we are taking. Okay. Ishtan Yogan Hivo Deva. Very nice. Dasyam Teyadne Bhavitaha. Nice. So what does this mean? That all the necessities of our life, like water, sun, Everything is, is given by the demigods. And if we do not offer sacrifices to, to the Lord, if we do not have to, uh, offer sacrifices to the demigods, then who are we? We are a big thief. Okay? Yes. Yes, Swara. Yes, Mataji. Deva very nice. Yes, Aditri. Yes, Mataji. Very nice. Yes, I'm just going by the sequence, okay? Yes, Neha. Yes, Mataji. Istan Bogan Hivo Deva Dasyan Teyajna Bhavitaha Teir Danta Aparada Yaibyo Yogun Abhung Ten Ne Eva Saha. Very nice. Come on. Next Loka. Yatna Shishta Sinaha Santo. Yatna Shishta Sinaha Santo. Yeah, everyone together. Come on, one second. Yadna Shishka Sinaha Santo 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 Yadna Shishka Yes, Pranjal. Very nice. Yes, Devana. Yajna Sustas and her son to Machiante Sarva Kilbisaha Bujante Teva Agam Papa Yepan Kachante Atma Karmanat. Very nice, very good. Come on, we want new, new people raising their hands. Come on, Ayusha, bye, come on. Ayusha, bye. Yes, 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 Prakriti kriya manani. Prakriti kriya manani. Very nice. Guna e karmani sarvashaha. Guna e karmani sarvashaha. Ahankaro vimi mudhatma. Ahankaro vimi mudhatma. 
So what does a person think? A person thinks that I am the doer. Yeah, he has that ahankar. Ahankar vimuratma. So actually everything is done by Krishna. So everything is done. The facilities and everything is provided by Krishna. So a person should not think that I did it. Because that is a false ego. Okay, yes. Come on, Arya. Yes, yes mother. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, Nachiket. Yes, Mataji. Prakriti Kriya Manani. Gune karmani sarvasha ahankara vimutatma kartaham iti manyate. Very nice. Yes, dear. Prakrati karma manani gune karmani sarvasha ahankara vimutatma kartaham karmatya iti manyate. Very nice. Yes, Mira. Yes, ma'am. Prakriti Priya Manani Gune Karmani Sarvashaha Ahankara Vimuratma Karta Hati Mani Te. Very nice. Mataji, in different classes, the Prakriti Priya Manani, the shlok you have taught. Sorry, sorry. The shlok that Prakriti Priya Manani before this shlok. The slope was there. You told us to recite Prakriti Kriya Manani. Yes, the slope before you have teach, taught us in the class. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Come on. Everyone unmute and repeat after me. May Sarvani Karmani. May Sarvani Karmani. Sanya Sadhyatma Chetasa Sanya Sadhyatma Chetasa Sanya Yes, come on, Swara. Yes, Mataji. My Sarvani Karvani Sanya Sadhyatma Chetasa. Nirasir Nirama Nirama Mahabhutva Yudhya Yudhya Savigata Jvarha Nice. Yes, Aditri. Yes, Mataji. Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasi Adhyatma Chetasa Nirasir Nirama Mahabhutva Yudhya Savigata Jvarha Very nice. Yes, Devana. Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasya Admatna Chetasa Nirasir Nirmamu Bhutva Yudhyaswa Vigate Jarvaha. Yes, very nice. Next shloka. Shri Bhagwan Vacha. Shri Bhagwan Vacha. Kama Esha Prodha Esha. Kāma-esha-prodha-esha very nice. Yes, Aditya. Yes, Mataji. She Bhagwanu Vach 
काम काम एशु क्रोध एशु राजगुण राजगुण समुद्र महाशिनो महापा विध्य विध्यहेनम इथावेरिनम वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस यस दी अ दियन ओम श्री भगवान योग काम एस क्रोध एस राजगुण संगो महापापम विद्यानम ही ही वर्णी वर्णी हम वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड कम ऑन नेक्स्ट लेट दिस वन इज न्यू नाउ लास्ट वन आर न्यू इंद्रियाणी परन्याहु इंद्रियाणी परन्याहु इंद्रियाणी परान्याहु इंद्रियाणी परान्याहु इंद्रियेभ्य परमनः इंद्रियेभ्य परमनः मनासस्तु परा बुद्धिर परासनस्तु परा योगुदेह परातस्तु सह So, what is Krishna saying? That whatever our senses, right? All these five senses: eyes, uh, hands, yeah. So, sense of touch, sense of seeing, sense of uh, taste, and everything. These senses are superior to the dull matter. Okay, dull matter means non-living thing. Now, mind is superior to the senses. Okay, and intelligence is superior to mind. And soul is the and soul is superior than the intelligence. So who is the most superior? Intelligence. Uh, soul is the most superior. Okay, so that is what Krishna is saying. That working senses are superior to dull matter. Dull matter means jada tar. That is non-living thing. Then mind is superior to the senses. Intelligence is superior to the mind, and soul is higher than the intelligence. Right. So you see this chariot. these five horses are senses these senses are controlled by mind mind is controlled by intelligence so intelligence has to be very strong so that it can control all the senses with the help of this rope right so intelligence has to be very strong and matured and who is the rider the rider is the soul okay and mother ji intelligence is controlled by intelligence intelligence you have to develop so you have to make your intelligence pure right you have to engage uh, and how will you you know you have to mature it in intelligence your intelligence has to be diverted so intelligence should be mature to serve krishna to serve the parmatma okay mata yeah okay because the intelligence what will intelligence do intelligence will engage all these five senses in serving krishna so your mind will become pure and when mind becomes purified you you get an opportunity to you know experience the love okay yes. so who wants to say this okay dishita yes mataji indriyani par anyahur indriye bhya paramanya manasastu para buddhi आदित्री आदि से इंद्रिया 
मनस्तु परा बुद्धि यो बुद्धे परस्तु सह वेरी नाइस ओके कम ऑन लास्ट श्लोक फॉर द डे एवं बुद्धे परम बुद्धवा एवं बुद्धि परम एवं बुद्धि परम बुद्धवा एवं बुद्धे परम बुद्धवा एवं बुद्धे परम बुद्धवा समस्त भ्यात मन मन मनम आत्मना क्लास में चल रही बार बार अटक जा रही है आवाज भी नहीं आ रही थी रोड लीज हो गया खुद ही बार बार आवाज नहीं आ रही अटक रही शत्रु महाबाहु महाबाहु काम रूप दुराशदम सो वॉट इज कृष्ण से कृष्ण से स्पीकिंग Yeah. So Krishna is saying that uh, your mind, intelligence, and senses—they all should be, they all should be kept steady. How will they be kept steady? By through spiritual intelligence. Yeah. Then you will be able to conquer your lust, anger, greed. Right. You have this lust, anger, and greed. बहुत गुस्सा आता है मेरे को ये चाहिए मेरे को वो चाहिए right? How that can be conquered? By keeping your make keeping your mind steady. And how will you be able to make your mind steady? By engaging them in spiritual activities. okay little difficult shloka but again we will because we do not know this that is why we think is difficult yeah yes who wants to say this you can try yes aditri yes mata ji evam buddhi param buddhva samsta bhyatmanam atmana jahi shatrum mahabaho kam rupam durasharam durasadam yeah, very nice yes devana परम श्लोकासन श्लोकास ओके इसमें से आठ श्लोका तो हम अभी रेगुलरली कर ही रहे हैं सो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी दैट डिफिकल्ट ओके सो सो देन देर इज आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस फर्स्ट प्राइज सेकंड प्राइज थर्ड प्राइज एंड पार्टिसिपेशन प्राइज ओके ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर देयर बट इट विल बी वेरी गुड दैट एवरीवन गेट्स इनटू आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस मोड ओके सो प्लीज ट्राई टू लर्न 20 श्लोकास डोंट वेट फॉर लास्ट वीक ऑफ फेब्रुवारी इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू लर्न 20 श्लोकास इन वन वीक start from today you have one month okay so start from today uh, to learn the shlokas okay master ji we can take shloka from any chapter no 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 i whatever i am giving only those only those uh, those shlokas because i am selecting important shlokas master ji have you shared the important shlokas yes 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 so i have shared i think 6 to 8 shlokas i have already put it on the google drive and i have already shared with all of you Okay, so um, just see. Your, uh, yeah, otherwise, I can tell you again. If you don't get it, uh, tell. Let me know. Uh, I will share. Okay, with you. Okay, how many total shlokas are there? 
total shlokas are 30 if i'm not wrong total shlokas are 30 and out of which the outstanding performance award goes to the person who learns uh, 20 shlokas okay i think and first prize is 15 second prize is 12 and third prize is if i'm not wrong it is eight something of that sort i'll have to see again yeah but try to learn print uh, don't think you get participation to milega okay don't think all that please try to learn as many as shlokas you can learn all the uh, 30 shlokas uh, also it is not that 30 20 bola hai to 20 karna hai okay so please try to learn as many as shlokas you can yeah okay yes manvi you have any question you raised your hand Uh, yeah, like uh, Mataji, do you have a group? Yes, yes, we do have a group. So I will just share Can my number in the chat. Please note down this number. Everyone who has joined uh, okay. new to this group, please note down my number. I put it on the chat box. Yeah, please send me a message after the class. Okay, uh, Mataji. And I'll add you to the group, okay? Okay, Chalo. So today, the question is, Will it take millions of lifetimes to attain Krishna Bhakti? Okay. Are you before discussing only Shreyas is raising her hand? What happened? Okay. I know Shreya. this answer because. Okay, what is the answer? No, we will not take millions of lifetimes to attain Krishna. So how many lifetimes will it take? Three or four. Acha, is it prescribed in the scriptures, scriptures three or four lifetimes? No. Okay, so let us see what happens, okay? <clears throat> so to begin with, we will start the story of Dhruva Maharaj. Okay, Dhruva Maharaj's story, I think most of you might be knowing, but for just a few of them who might not be knowing the story of Dhruva Maharaj, let us do a quick recap. Okay, so Dhruva Maharaj, uh, so basically, uh, take Uttanapad. Okay, he had two wives and uh, so from the first wife, the son was Dhruva Maharaj and from the other, so King Uttanapad was sitting on a throne, one day he was sitting on a throne and his stepbrother was sitting uh, on his father's lap and Dhruva Maharaj was a small child, five years old child, he came and he sat on his father's lap. Now his stepmother was, so Uttanapad, his father, had a second wife and he liked his second wife more than his first wife. And Dhruva Maharaj was the son of the first wife. Now, when she saw that this Dhruva Maharaj is sitting on her husband's lap, she got very angry. She said, please get down. She threw, you know, she threw him away. She, that you, know, you cannot sit on uh, uh, Uttanapada's lap because you, know, you are not born through my womb. So she throws him away. With this, Dhruva Maharaj gets so angry. Five-year-old child. He gets so angry. He gets so angry. He goes to his mother crying. Mama, tell me, I have I, got very angry. You know, I want justice. So I want to, I want to, uh, I want to uh, meet Lord and I want a kingdom. Listen very carefully. I want a kingdom which is greater than Brahma Loka. Okay, Brahma Loka means uh, it is the biggest kingdom and the beautiful planet in the entire universe. So he, he's saying, I want a kingdom which is more than, greater than Brahma Loka. So he said, see, my dear child, I do not know where you will find Lord, but I have heard that there are sages in the forest and they have seen Lord in the forest. So if you want, you can go to the forest. See her mother of a small child. Uh, she's saying, okay, you can go to the forest and find the Lord. This child, he goes to the very angry, very angry, greedy of getting a kingdom. He goes to the forest. Yeah, on his way in the dense forest, he, he meets Narada. And Narada, and he tells Narada, that, you know, this is what I want. And I want a kingdom which is greater than Brahma Loka. And uh, Narada says, yeah, yeah, definitely you will get that. You just chant the name of Vishnu and you will get it. So you just chant, sincerely you chant, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Okay, you chant this and you will get the thing. And then see what happens. Yeah. So uh, uh, Dhruva sincerely follows whatever Naradmuni has said and he does a lot of austerity. Yeah? And then in the end, who comes? Vishnu becomes very happy and Vishnu then uh, grants him whatever his wishes are. Okay? This is the story of Dhruva Maharaj. Now let us analyze, let us deep dive into all these aspects of the story and many other uh, aspects of, you know, uh, of, uh, of this topic. Yeah. So, um, so let us see what is written in Bhagavatam. Okay. Someone want to read? Just read the first the uh, uh, box. Yes, Devana. Who 
Maharaj attained an exalted position at the age of only five or six years after undergoing austerity of for six months. Alas, a great Kshatriya cannot achieve such a position even after undergoing austerities for many, many years. Exactly. So what, how many months he did the austerity? Just for six months he did the austerity. And what did he get? He got a kingdom greater than Brahma Loka. So he had agreed to get a big kingdom. Right? And he was not even a Brahmana. He was a Kshatriya. Otherwise, Brahmanas, they try for millions and millions of years and still they don't get. But Dhruva Maharaj got it in six months. Yes, someone else can read the second one. Mataji, yes, can I read the second one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Can I read? Dhruva Maharaj is described here in, as Chatra Bandhu. Chatra Bandhu, which indicates that he was that he was not fully trained as Kshatriya because he was only five years old. He was not a mature Kshatriya. A Kshatriya or Brahmana has to take training. A boy born in the family of a Brahmana is not immediately a Brahmana. He has to take up the training and the purifactory process. Yes. So you see Dhruva Maharaj, even though he is a Kshatriya, he was just a five years old. So actually he was not a Kshatriya Kshatriya because such a small child, right? So this is very, very important to what is it mentioned here in Bhagavatam. See, yeah. just by taking birth as a Kshatriya family and or I... birth in a Brahmana family, you do not become a Brahmana or a Kshatriya. Mm -hmm. You have to take training, right? So even if we say that, you know, I am a Brahmana, but Brahmana by birth doesn't give a qualification of Brahmana. You have to undergo a purificatory process. You have to serve the Lord. You have to do your duties as a Brahmin, uh, as a Brahmana, right? Hey, then, you get that Brahmana, you know, that, then you can say, yes, I'm a Brahmana. Mataji, I'm a Dittya, can I read the last one? Mataji, I'm a Dittya, can I? Mataji, I'm a Dittya, can I read? One second, Aditya, one second. Yes, Mani, what happened? Uh, can I read? So you also want to read. Okay. Aditi will give chance to Manvi yeah. today. Okay? Yes, Aditi. Okay. The yes. great Seg uh, Naranda Muni was very proud of having devote uh, this uh, this disciple. Mataji, what is this word? Disciple. Okay, okay. disciple like Juva Maharaja. He had many other disciples but he was very like blessed with Dhruva Maharaja because in one lifetime by dint of uh, his seven severed um, penances of austerities. austerities he had achieved Vekuntha which was never achieved by any other king, son, or Rajasi taught the he was. Very nice. So see, what is he saying? So, so whom did he take um, uh, uh, advice from? He took advice from Narad Muni. Yeah? Narad Muni was his guru. And he, um, Dhruva became his disciple. And why is it called Vaikuntha planet? Why did he achieve Vaikuntha planet? Because the Dhruva Loka is as good as Vaikuntha. Listen this very carefully. When annihilation happens, right? Yesterday we studied annihilation, destruction, and all that, right? Creation and destruction. But when destruction happens, Dhruva Loka is not destroyed. That is why Dhruva Loka is called Vaikuntha planet. Okay, so this is very important. So he, see, even though he had greed of getting, uh, you know, of having, wanting a big kingdom, uh, planet greater than Brahma Loka, still in six months his desire was satisfied. So we can say that, you know, like Shreyasi was mentioning, two, three years, three, three, four lifetimes. So, see, Dhruva Maharaj attained Vaikuntha planet just in six months. Okay. So, we will see another example of Bharat Maharaj. Yeah. Bharat Maharaj, he left his kingdom because he wanted to get take attain liberation. He leaves everything. He leaves his entire kingdom and he leaves everything and he comes to the forest. Yeah, he's saying, now I am just going to practice austerity. I am just going to you know, uh, think about God and so that I can get liberation. But what happened? 
you know suddenly while he was you know doing his uh, you know morning uh, prayers and all he saw a small um, deer the deer was pregnant yeah a, a female deer she was pregnant and a lion was you know behind her and then she was very scared and she was trying to cross the river to save herself from the lion but at that point in time um, uh, bharat maharaj saw and he went to save her and and because she was pregnant she delivered the baby baby deer and she left her body so now the baby deer was left alone so bharat maharaj thought are baap re this baby deer is without her mother so i should take care of this baby deer now so now along with his penances and austerity matlab uski jo uh, whatever prayers he is doing he is also taking care of the baby deer now his mind is constantly in that baby deer are isne khaya hoga ki nahi are wo jangal mein gaya hai to usko kisi ne khaya usko kisi ne khaya hoga na aisa to nahi hua na so he is like always worried about that baby deer and then uh, so his mind instead of focusing on krishna his mind got distracted to the baby deer and in the end of his life one day that baby deer did not come only so this morning till evening he, he did not come that baby deer and he was like thinking 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 of the baby deer and that is how he came to his body so thinking of the baby deer and because listen very carefully and there is a quiz in the end and because he left his body thinking of the baby deer you see the next picture he gets a body of a deer so the deer which is standing in the in the second picture is bharat maharaj because he was thinking of the deer while leaving his body he gets a body of a deer and now but because he was a very pious soul so that is why he was granted the boon to you know remember his past life and he remembered what had happened so he remembered so he went to the place where sages and everyone they were performing austerities so he went to that place and he spent his life there yeah then बिकॉज ही थॉट अबाउट ऑल दो थिंग्स ही हेड रिमेंबर की लास्ट लाइफ में मैंने डियर के बारे में सोचा इसके लिए मेरे को ये डियर का लाइफ मिल गया सो देन इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ ही टुक बर्थ एज दिस पर्सन जड भरत ओके ही टुक यू नो बर्थ एज अन बींग एंड इन द्यूमन बींग लाइफ देन इन द थर्ड लाइफ आई नॉट गोइंग टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ द स्टोरी बट इन द थर्ड लाइफ ही स्टिल रिमेंबर की फर्स्ट लाइफ आई वॉज भरत then second life i was dear and in the third life i do not have to you know get distracted now this is the only because from human life only you can go to it so unless there is a mercy of uh, lord otherwise it is difficult so uh, uh, so in so in this life in the third life he got liberation yeah he could achieve it in the plan so you saw uh, uh, this one dhruva maharaj he took 6 months Bharat Maharaj took three lifetimes. Now I will tell you another story. Okay, story of a Brahmin and a cobbler. Okay, so once there were two 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 uh, two people. Okay, one was a cobbler and another was a Brahmin. Those uh, so Narad Muni happened to meet the Brahmin and he said, "Oh Narad Muni, he offered obvious answers and he said, Narad Muni, you are so great. Can you just let me know? Okay, how much life? How many lifetimes will I take to go to Vaikuntha?" And then he said, yeah, "Okay, okay, I will ask um, uh, Lord Vishnu." Then on the way he meets a cobbler. He says, "Cobbler, uh, cobbler tells Narad Muni, Narad Muni, can you tell us how much time will I take to go to Vaikuntha planet?" Narad Muni says, "Yes, yes, yes. I will go and ask Vishnu." Okay. He goes to Vishnu and he says, "You know, uh, Vishnu says this cobbler will will immediately come to Vaikuntha, but this Brahmin, this Brahmin will take lot of time." Narad Muni was confused. "Hey, how come a cobbler will come immediately? He is not doing anything." And this Brahmin, इतना दिन रात सब सेवा करते रहता है और उसको बहुत सारा लाइफ टाइम लगेगा ऐसे कैसे सो देन सेट ऑफ देम एंड यू टेल देम देनो वेन आई वेंट टू वाई कुंटा विष्णु वॉज पुटिंग एन एलिफेंट लिसन वेरी केयरफुल वॉज पुटिंग एन एलिफेंट थ्रू द आई होल ऑफ द नीडल ओके यू गो एंड टेल दीज टू पीपल that what was vishnu doing he was putting an elephant from the eye hole of the needle he said okay i'll go so he went to the cobbler and he said you know i met uh, vishnu but he was busy he was putting uh, elephant from the eye hole of the needle he said yeah i mean vishnu can definitely do that if he can put a small you know if a from a small seed you know, a huge banyan tree can grow so then definitely it is possible vishnu can put a elephant through the eye hole of the needle He said, "Okay," and then he goes to this Brahmana. Brahmana said, "How is it possible? How can an elephant go through the eye hole of a needle? Who needle? Ka bhol hota hai na? Usme se elephant kaise jayega? Not possible. 
right? So as soon as this cobbler says, said this, you know, see the faith because cobbler had a lot of faith in, in, the, in the Lord. Immediately he was taken back to Vaikuntha. But this Brahmin, he was just doing all the austerity. Sari, puja, paat, sab kuch karta tha. Lekin Bhagwan mein vishwas nahi tha. Bhagwan ke powers mein vishwas nahi tha, right? That is why this happens. Right? So, so it is about Shraddha. This cobbler had a deep rooted Shraddha in the Lord. And that is why he could easily go back home, back to God. But this Brahman did not have faith in the Lord. Yeah. Another story I will tell you. Okay. So, so a lot of stories today. <laughs> yeah. So there was this um, poor Brahmana. He was staying in Pratishthanapur. Okay. In South India. He was staying there. South Indian town. He was a poor Brahman. Now this poor Brahman, uh, you know, he, now he was poor. So he couldn't uh, do a lot of services to uh, Lord Krishna. But he, was poor, uh, he wanted to uh, opulently serve Lord, uh, serve the Lord. He wanted to cook uh, wonderful dishes in, uh, you know, in golden and silver pots. And he wanted to bathe the Lord with, uh, you know, water from all the Ganges uh, or, or holy, holy rivers. He wanted to have gold, silver uh, you know, pots to bathe the Lord and all that. And wanted to do beautiful Shringar of the Lord. But he had no money. So one day he had gone to hear Bhagavatam and there he heard, oh, you can do, you can worship the Lord through your mind. Okay, he heard, then he was very surprised. Oh, can we worship the Lord through our mind? That, that uh, you know, Prabhuji said, yes, yes, definitely. You can bathe the Lord through your mind. You can make nice foodstuffs for the Lord, you know, thinking of it. And you can offer them to the Lord through your mind. Oh, this is very wonderful. So every day what he used to do is, he used to you know, take bath. And he used to sit under a quiet place under a tree. And then he used to, uh, you know, he used to close your eyes and sit in a meditative posture and he used to think, oh, I have gone, you know, taken bath from the Ganges. Now I'm bringing water from different holy rivers in the big jugs of, you know, of gold and silver. Now I'm bathing the Lord. Then I'm beautiful, doing a beautiful Shringar of the Lord. I'm offering beautiful ornaments, you know, yellow pitambar and beautiful, you know, he's all imagining beautiful garlands and everything he's offering to the Lord. Then he goes to the kitchen and he cooks nice, nice foodstuffs for the Lord. Right? Every day this is going on. And then he's offering it to the Lord. One day what happens? You know, he has made nice foodstuffs for the Lord. And now he's offering it to the Lord. But he's just wondering, um, I, I, this, he had made some sweet rice okay, for the Lord. Is it very hot? I should taste it. Otherwise, you know, Bhagwan ka move uh, jal jayega. So let me, let me just put my finger and, you know, just feel it whether it is not too hot for the Lord. Otherwise, you know, Lord will get hurt. So he puts his finger into that sweet rice. And then, ah, he realized that, you know, it is very hot. Okay. In his imagination only, okay. When he's doing his manas puja. And then Vishnu sitting in Vaikuntha, he is laughing. <laughs> okay, and then the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi, is sitting next to him. She is thinking, my dear Lord, what happened? What is making you laugh? So then uh, Vishnu tells her that, you know, this is what happened. This devotee was offering me and he put his finger in the sweet rice and then he thought that it is very hot. So he burnt his finger. And he and this Brahmana, he says, oh, his finger is actually burnt. And then she said, Are, she is such a nice devotee of yours. Why don't you bring him back to Vaikuntha? Immediately, you see, this Viman is there. Yeah, this, this Viman is there. Immediately, Lord comes and brings him back to Vaikuntha. Right? So, it is not even a lifetime. It is not even a, even six months, right? Immediately, he's, got, he's, uh, he's taken back to Vaikuntha. Because that you know, Yeah? We don't need to die for going to Vaikuntha. You leave this body and you take a spiritual body. You get a spiritual body. Means like, uh, uh, means Krishna's Viman is coming. So before we go to die, we change our body. Yeah, so we will leave our body. Like we change our clothes, we leave our body. So you will think that this person is dead, but the person is actually gone to die. Uh, and this Viman is visible to whom? Who, who no, is it taking is not us? visible to us. It is not visible to us. It is only visible to the devotees. To the and pure And then he, he take... Uh, Mataji, when the soul leaves the body, that soul remembers everything of his life or he forgets as soon as he leaves his body? He has been, he has not been given the power to remember everything. 
because otherwise what will happen you will just get entangled mere mummy mere papa mere picture and how many lifetimes you will remember he would he would be a dog to the dog ka mummy daddy remember karna padega human life hai to human ka mummy daddy remember karna padega so how many lifetimes how he will remember everything so that that is not given by krishna ha uh, there are few who will remember their incarnation but they are like this 0.05% but otherwise this is not given because krishna doesn't want you to get entangled there krishna wants you to come back home to godhead right now so you will not you will get so much entangled in your previous life that you will not move on yeah okay okay ma'am so why did this brahmana <clears throat> attain liberation because he was fully absorbed in krishna he was fully absorbed in serving the lord you yeah? know so it is not that you know we on the on the devotion path of devotional service lot of you know uh, struggles will come but in spite of all those struggles when you serve the lord krishna sees that yeah krishna sees your uh, your uh, your love towards him your devotional service towards him and then krishna decided ah this is my pure duty come on let me take him back yeah okay so what are the qualifications to attend krishna bhakti you should have transcendental absorption towards krishna you should have greed not towards material things but to serve lord krishna we should have a humble attitude humble attitude we will discuss again further and while cultivating krishna consciousness we should do divine austerities as in ki raat ko jaage hain picture dekhne ke liye right lekin subah uthna hai jab karne ke liye right so divine austerities means getting up in the early in the morning to chant yeah then uh, taking seats you all kids like 40 42 kids yeah today sunday is there you all have a choice to go out in the mall maybe mall is not open but you all have a choice but you did not exercise that choice to go out and have fun right you all exercise your choice to attend the class right so that is all again like an austerity right so you should cultivate your yourself to do divine austerities mata ji can i ask something yes definitely mata ji if anyone did not did any chanting during his lifetime and did not remember krishna um, when uh, in his lifetime but he remembered krishna when he was leaving his body so he, will he go to goloka he will go to goloka but the thing is that he, the thing is that also you know what uh, see if he has done lot of sins and then suddenly it is very difficult for him to remember so that is very very exceptional case that you know uh he will uh, he will remember lord so it is it is next to impossible but still there could be an exception case that he will remember lord secondly is also if he remembers lord then what will lord do lord will again you know give him a chance to purify because what happens is your subtle mind right you saw this mind intelligence and false ego that mind intelligence false ego always is desires desires yeah. to enjoy but mata ji so if those one second Krishna, just one second but if those desires are not satisfied then you will not get purified because you still have the desires ki mujhe ye karna hai mujhe karna hai mujhe aise karna hai lekin mujhe krishna ko service karne ka jab bhi mood aata hai tabhi krishna upar leke jata hai matlab woh kaun sa leke jata hai okay mata ji if we have a greed like uh, like to be a devotee of krishna it's right greed sorry sorry matlab agar humko किंगडम तो जस्ट पार्क योर थॉट Okay, Anushree, just park your thoughts till the end of the session. If it doesn't get answered, then we will discuss it again. Yes, Madam. Mata ji, I have a doubt. Mata ji, I have a doubt. Mata ji, yes. Mata ji, you said that when we die, when we are dying, whatever we think of, we take that form. Mm-hmm. But and suppose, what if we are thinking of a non-living thing? Suppose, like a truck or a building or something. So, who whose form will we take? 
but, but why are you thinking of the truck that situation has to be seen no but some people maybe they could they could have been thinking about that, thinking so what would happen the, with them so so he will not think of a truck in isolation he would think of a situation in which the truck is there so the situation that the truck is going on the road and he is driving the truck or the truck meeting an accident something of that sort some situation will be there you will not be thinking only of a mataji what if he actually thinks about only the truck what a just a hypothetically will you will you think that at the person who is dying will think of a truck mataji think of a chair or he will think of a table he will not think of the all those things either he will be in lot of pain और ही जस्ट यू हु जस्ट वांट टू यू नो व्हाट वुड बी थिंकिंग कि मेरा इतना प्रॉपर्टी है ये मेरे बच्चे हैं और ये है वो है या फिर सम टाइम दादी आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग हाइपोथेटिकली हाइपोथेटिकली इफ यू नो डोंट थिंक हाइपोथेटिकली यस बट यू व्हेन यू आर डाइंग यू विल नॉट जस्ट थिंक ऑफ अ ट्रक इन योर माइंड यू विल नॉट पिक्चर दैट देयर इज अ ट्रक इन योर माइंड एंड यू विल ओनली सी अ ट्रक 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 दैट कैन नॉट हैपन लॉजिकली Exactly, that is what I am trying to say. That your truck will not, he will not see an isolation. Okay. Will see an and even if, Mataji, even if that does happen, you will either become like a truck driver or a microorganism inside that truck or a mosquito inside that truck, something like that. Yes, depending upon your desires and depending upon your karma, you will, you will, uh, you know, you. Will. So, like you know, uh, they, they say that you know, you if you if you have a desire to stay in a palace, okay. but your karma doesn't you know uh, allow you to become the queen then you can be will become a rat in that palace okay yes okay yes krish. yes one second yes krish had a question yes krish mata ji so krishna wanted us to go back with him in goloka so why did he make so many religions because if we tells any christian that the about krishna consciousness then he will tell that christianity is only the best humans the humans invented religion mata ji can i uh, mata ji can i answer this you and nitesh both can answer one by one yes mata ji but uh, i guess nachi ke chicken okay there was no religion at the start at the start the whole world was just india and at that time everyone uh, everyone was into krishna bhakti and everyone believed in god and all but after that when the world split different religions were made by humans god didn't make any religions okay thank you mother yes, you want to add yes mother mother ji so today morning i saw a video <coughs> that video there was a person who was actually taking an interview of a lady who was a christian so that lady said that first i read bible then i read the quran then i read guru granth sahib and then i went to the civil library so over there i saw bhagavad gita Mm-hmm. I read Bhagavad Gita, and uh, like this is not about the religion part, but then how we follow the religion. So, <clears throat> so then uh, she says that after I read Bhagavad Gita, I uh, Bhagavad Gita uh, told me that uh, there are no religions. Religions are just created by uh, us humans. There is only one Bhagwan, and and we are his creations. So Bhagavad Gita told who I I am, who all of us are, and who is Krishna. So and Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita that leave up all the religions and follow me because Hindu is. Sarva Dharma and Paritrajya. Yes, Mata Ji, the the same shloka. I didn't know the shloka though. Mata Ji. Yeah, one second, ah, yeah. So, so basically, like you know, Nachiket and Nitanjali said that you know religions are invented by by the man. Yeah. So yes, that is true. Again, but Krishna also sends his messengers, like you know, Muhammad, the uh, most prophet is there, Jesus is there. You know, they are like messenger of God, child of God, you know, to to make to bring people to make people progress gradually. Okay, Mataji, right? thank you. Mataji, it because, is said that because if Bhagavad we if we cannot we cannot suddenly tell a uh, tell bhagavad gita to a person who is like you know uh, killing animals and you know who is engaged into lot of um, uh, 
simple mm-hmm. activities mm-hmm. Yeah. and then he wouldn't accept that so slowly slowly gradually purificatory process some can suddenly get transformed but some may not so there's a gradual purificatory process for everyone depending upon their uh, psychological nature and the place they were just staying mataji 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 and the uh, lady that was watching <clears throat> Mataji, yes. she told that that the lady actually in the ending she told after I learnt about the Bhagavad Gita I was clear minded so I met Prabhupad so mm-hmm. she met Prabhupad they went together for the Hare Krishna moment yes so Prabhupad see Prabhupad so we have um, we are preaching Bhagavad Gita even in Afghanistan even in uh, Pakistan in Russia across the globe yes, in Afghanistan many years ago Mataji but Mataji. Uh, does everyone believe it there everyone doesn't believe but whoever believes they can progress further Mataji. Mataji. okay so we have to go ahead come on yes yes last two questions Mataji. Mataji. yes arya and then shreyasi and then they were ji they said like uh, bhagavad gita is religious text but it's not true bhagavad gita is the first life guide bhagavad gita is first life guide first i did not i'm not able to understand first mata ji life guide we can say First ke baad ka word hi only I'm not able to understand. Yes, it means uh, Mataji, she's saying life guide. Manual of life. First life guide, okay, manual of guide. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So Bhagavad Gita, that is a misconception like we studied. Bhagavad Gita is a misconception that it is pertaining to any religion. Bhagavad Gita doesn't pertain to any religion. Bhagavad Gita is religion agnostic. It is applicable to uh, uh, every living, every uh, human being. yeah and it, it is like a guide so whenever like we saw whenever jivas come are sent into this material world along with the uh, jivas you know this vedic knowledge is also sent so bhagavad gita is a vedic knowledge is all of us should follow so that we can progress and we can come out of this jail of material world yeah yes yes devana mata ji mata ji i had a doubt that you told that the person if uh, at the time then just remembers about a material thing or about the animal the next uh, janam or the next life of that person is related to that thing so what if the man leaving his body thinks about his uh, daughter or about his son then he will get he will again you know get stuck here in this material world so depending upon his karma uh, if he is a pious soul then he will get a human life if he is a non pious soul then he will take birth somewhere around like a dog or a you know cat closer to the okay, can it be that uh, that person who is going to die born in the same family yes, again yes it is possible mata ji i have a question yes we to move ahead uh, mata ji my last question is that uh, Yes, yes, come on quickly. Uh, Mata ji, my last question is that uh, Krishna is our supreme God. We all know that. So, Bhagavad Gita should be the holy book of all and the life card, as I said. Yes. And while there are so many religious texts like uh, yes, yes, Quran, yes. Bible. This is. I will cover that question. Just hold on. I will cover that question. Okay. Mata ji, can I answer? Mata ji, can I answer? Mata ji, can I answer? I will cover that question. I will cover that question. Today we will cover okay, this topic. Ma'am. Yeah, Mata, Mata ji, I have another doubt. Mata ji, pertaining to this topic, otherwise Mata ji, no, but it is about what happens to you when you die and that. Not exactly what happens to you. Just so hold on your questions. It's we'll about. We'll finish this. We'll finish this, and I'll take all the questions. Okay. Okay. Just, just hold on. Yeah. Mata ji, last question. I will just hold on to your thoughts. Yeah, we will finish this and we will uh, the pertaining to this topic. If you have, then I will, you know, I will take it. But just Mata. hold on for ten minutes. Just Mata. hold on for ten minutes. Yeah, just hold on for ten minutes. Yeah, then then I'll again open it up for questions for five minutes. So let's move on. Yes, now yes. What is this? Hiranya Kashyapu. So now we are going to compare. Okay, we are going to deep dive. We know story of Hiranya Kashyapu, right? He 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 was a great yes, demon. Ma'am. Want to? He wanted to take uh, charge of all the. Uh, all the three uh, worlds yeah and he wanted to kill the supreme lord so right so and uh, we have dhruva here so hiranyakashipu now we are comparing okay we know the both the stories now we are comparing both the stories yeah so hiranyakashipu if you see 
he did not take guidance from any guru. Yeah. But Dhruva, what did he do? He took guidance from oh, Narada. Yeah, he took now guidance from Narad Muni. And what happens when he takes guidance from Narad Muni? Right? So when he takes, when he took guidance from Narad Muni, when Dhruva took guidance from Narad Muni, what happened? Although initially he had a revengeful attitude against his stepmother, I and I wanted a kingdom which is, and because of that, he wanted a kingdom which is greater than the great grandfather. So then that revengeful attitude got dissolved. Right? Why, why he, once he accepted the guidance of his guru, he did exactly what his guru told. He did austerity, austerities, he did the, uh, uh, chanted the, the name as per the mantra, what his guru gave him. And then because of that, what happened? He got a kingdom, which was greater than his great grandfather. Yeah. So even if it was material thing that he asked, right? Someone, someone said about material things. So even if he was, he had asked material things, still it was granted. Why? Because his devotional service was pure. He got purified. And how did he get purified? Because he took guidance from the Guru. It is very, very important that we take guidance from the Guru so that we are on the right path. He gives us the right instructions at the right time for our progress. Right? So it is very, very important we accept the Guru. Now, see, there are many people who will give us advice. Okay, so it is very important that whose advice we take. Right? So we will see an example of Dhritarashtra. So Dhritarashtra uh, had a, so Vidura, you remember, right? Vidura always used to be advised to Dhritarashtra. But Dhritarashtra used to listen and always used to ignore his advice. Yeah, and so Dhritarashtra never followed the advice of Vidura. Vidura, one day he said that, uh, you know, he asked a question so many times, I am telling you, you know, that uh, uh, you should do, you should not do this or you should do this, but still you are not accepting uh, my advice. So Dhritarashtra said that, you know, in this world, you know, Vidura, whatever is destined is going to happen. So whatever is destined will happen to my son. Yeah, no one can change the destiny. So then Vidura, Vidura tells, no, no, wait, 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 wait for a minute. Yeah, destiny means that, you know, destiny is based on whatever karma you did in the previous lives. But whatever action you are going to take now will determine your future, right? And whatever action that you are going to take, that is not decided. That is not destined. So action that you take now will decide your future. Yeah. So then that is... Mataji, uh, does Krishna know what choice you are going to take? Krishna gives us little independence to decide on the choice. Krishna gives us that independence. Whether to do wrong things or whether to do right things, that is why intelligence is there, no? If Krishna is only going to decide, then he would not have given you intelligence. No, 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 Guruji, no, Guruji. I am saying that this Krishna know what you are going to make. Krishna? I mean, like, let's say, uh, like, just like you give an example, uh, 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 Dhyana listened, uh, uh, not of uh, Vidura, but of uh, Mahashak, uh, of Shakuni. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, and also, so, uh, does Krishna know that uh, uh, not Dhritarashtra, uh, Duryodhana was going to uh, choose uh, uh, Shakuni uh, I mean, as his guru? Yes, like yes, 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 yes. So, Krishna knows everything. Krishna Krishna can see the past, Krishna can see the future. Krishna knows what action you are going to take. But Krishna gives that independence to all of us to decide on what action we should take. He gives us that intelligence. And accordingly, things change. Okay? Accordingly, future also changes. That is what is written in Mahabharata. Okay? That Vidura said that, you know, the destiny is not... The destiny is based on our previous karmas. But what is going to happen in future will be decided by the action. Right? Whether you study or don't study. I have one more question. One second. Huh? Whether you study or don't study. Depending upon whether you study or don't study, accordingly, the results will be there. You obey your parents, you don't obey your parents. Accordingly, you will get your uh, destiny. Right? You do good things, you do wrong things. Accordingly, it will be decided. You speak lies, you don't speak lies. You are honest. Accordingly, you, your, thing, your destiny will be decided. So you cannot say, Krishna, Krishna, I was so much chanting, but you didn't help me. But you were dishonest. You were speaking lies. You were not obeying your parents. Right? You were not studying. So you have to do your duties, no? Swadharma and spiritual dharma. Dono to karne hi hai. You cannot say, Krishna, I was so much chanting, 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 I was
ऐसे तो नहीं होगा राइट सो डोंट गेट इन टू कीप कीप लाइफ वेरी सिंपल डोंट गेट मेक कॉम्प्लिकेट योर लाइफ यू हैव योर स्वधर्म यू हैव योर स्पिरिचुअल धर्म राइट सो डेस्टिनी विल बी डिसाइडेड फ्यूचर थिंग विल बी डिसाइडेड ऑन वॉट एक्शन यू टेक ओके सो जस्ट होल्ड ऑन योर क्वेश्चन श्रेय सी एंड अनुश्री या जस्ट होल्ड ऑन योर क्वेश्चन या सो नाउ सी वॉट डिड धृतराश डू धृतराश टू कैडवाइज फ्रॉम फ्रॉम शकुनी He conveniently decided to ignore advice from Vidura. Vidura was giving him the right advice. What happened with Dhritarashtra? Now Dhritarashtra wanted an earthly kingdom, but since he took an ill advice, what happened? Everything got dis destroyed. All his hundred sons got killed in the war. Yeah, entire race was killed, yeah. and uh, he did not get a king's kingdom also. But see, Dhruva, Dhruva had a material desire. Listen very carefully. Ruwa had a material desire. He wanted a kingdom greater than Brahma Loka, but what did he do? He took advice of Guru. He prayed to Vishnu, and what happened? He was sanctioned. He was sanctioned the kingdom which was higher, right? Biggest kingdom. Why couldn't a planet he got? Not only normal planet. Why couldn't a planet he got? Why? Because he took guidance from that. Because he took right guidance. So you have to be very very careful while you know seeking guidance and seeking right guidance. So, so be very careful with this. Then, Mataji, right now you are our guru, right? So, I am your shiksha guru. So, you will have many gurus. You will have guru in your. In, so, your your parents are your first guru. Your grandparents also are your guru. You have teachers. So, we are all shiksha gurus. So, who will give you impart your knowledge? Yeah. So, you have your in your school. You have gurus who will who is giving you material knowledge. Yeah. I am a shiksha guru who is giving you spiritual knowledge. Your parents are your shiksha guru who are giving you oral knowledge. Yes, so be very careful about this. So, uh, ah, but then again, if you are taking advice from your friends, ensure that you know what advice you are taking and whether your friend is capable enough to give you that advice. Right? Like Karna took advice from Duryodhan. Now, was Duryodhan capable of giving advice? No. That is why Karna again, uh, you know, he was killed in the war. Was that successful? Mataji, I uh, I have two best friends, and they I know I'm sure they're capable of, uh, capable of giving me right advice because they are very nice, humble. But they do not know Krishna, but they are very nice and humble. Okay, so so the thing is, whatever advice they give, you have to see whether whatever action you are going to take, whether that is going to please Krishna, that is not going to please Krishna. So if your friends give an advice, कि नहीं 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 उसके साथ झगड़ा कर क्या वो उसने ऐसे क्या just just whatever I'm just giving a hypothetical situation. We all we have good friends. We all think our friends give advice. Yes, definitely there will be friends who will be giving you good advice. But always think, was my action whatever action I take, is it going to please Krishna? It is not going to please Krishna. Yeah, based on that you decide. Okay. Mataji, like how we will understand this that these friends are good friends and these friends are bad friends. Whatever, if if your friends, if your actions, that is that is exactly what I said. If your Mataji. actions, being with the friends, will will please Krishna, then yes. If it will not please Krishna, then they are not good friends. Mataji. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Hello, Mataji. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you, Ayush. Ayush, I can. Uh, I can leave at five thirty because uh, there is singing class. Okay, okay, take okay, it, take okay, it, okay, no problem. Okay, okay. Yeah. So then, that is you have to be very careful. Then, ma, worshiping demigod. So here in the Kashi, we worship, worship to whom? Brahma. Druva worship to whom? Vishnu. Right. Now, why did uh, here in the Kashi we worship demigod? Because when you worship a demigod, you get quick results, but those results are temporary, right? But when you worship the Vishnu, those results are permanent. Okay, now you will say then why should we go to um, uh, you know permanent result मिलने वाला है तो might as well we go to Vishnu why should we go to a demigod but Vishnu will not sanction unless you get purified so demons को लगता है नहीं रे बाबा नहीं पटा पट ले लो और you know मजे कर लो और छोड़ो है ना so but uh, whenever Sudruva was sanctioned but the kingdom only when he was purified so it is, this is very very important that whatever you get from demigods yeah it will be only temporary eventually what happened The Vishnu himself had to come and kill Hiranyakashipu, right? But what did Druva get? Druva got a Vaikuntha planet. Then you will say, you know, okay, um, why to worship? See, Krishna is so busy. 
या तो छोटी छोटी चीजों के लिए हम लोग डेमी गॉड्स के पास जाएंगे और अगर कुछ बड़ी चीज होगी तो हम लोग विष्णु के पास जाएंगे बट इन दागवतम इट इज ऑलवेज मैं ध्रुआ हेड अ मटीरियल डिजायर ही वेंट टू कृष्णा करदम मुनि वो हेड अ मटीरियल डिजायर ही वेंट टू कृष्णा राइट सो इन भागवतम इट इज ऑलवेज इट इज एवरी वेर इट इज मैं दैट you can you can worship demigods however your what should be your mood your mood to worship that you know let me develop nice devotional service for krishna that is what you should pray to the demigod so even if you are worshiping shiva what will you worship shiva as a krishna please uh, shiva please you know let me develop nice uh, loving relationship with krishna right even durga mata please let me develop nice loving relationship with krishna that should be our prayers when we worship demigods because demigods also eventually want us to connect us to krishna Yeah. So you should pray that you know, give me shuddha bhakti to get connected to Krishna. That should be our prayers to to the demigods. Yeah. Mata ji, I have a short story on the when we ask, we have a material desire to demigods. Uh, a sir was born named Tarka sir in uh, on earth, and uh, when he grew up, he had a desire that I should, uh, I should win the three worlds, all the three worlds, and then he. Uh, he was uh, meditating on brahma so brahma ki man he uh, means he granted what he wanted what the tarkasur world wanted and he was so cruel that Kar- lord kartike had to bond to like to kill him yeah okay so let us move ahead so what happens right so what was the behavior said right? so so brahma granted him a boon that um, you know you will you will so, so he wanted to trick brahma okay hiranyakashipu thought ki ye to ye to de nahi sakta mujhe immorality so let me trick him so he asked for whatever he should, i should not die in day or night not by any weapon not by any human being not by any animal all the thing he asked but what happened you know so he got his boon dhruva also what got his boon but what was the behavior of hiranyakashipu after he got his boon right? he was always drunken in wine and because he was drunken in wine this is this is how it is mentioned his eyes were rotating like copper balls and eventually he he attacked heavenly planets he kicked all the demigods away yeah he said that you know um, i do not this all this rain uh, wetting agents uh, drying agents uh, The heating agents, you know, you he he kicked everyone out. He said, no, no, I don't want anyone here. Please, please go away. Please go away. Then, um, you know, they, they say that you know, uh, uh, then this Devi was the who is wetting agent, Varuna, Surya Dev, and all that. He just drove them. He said, give me my, give me your resignation. Just go away from here. So they burst. Then they say, sir, sir, how will you maintain the universe? They have to don't worry. I will maintain it myself. What should you then? What should we do? Just clap hands. Just go away from here. He made a new policy. That all the pious people will go to hell, and all the sinful people will go to heaven. Uh, will go to heaven. It's a new government policy. He just bought it. All atrocities all around because he got puffed up, right? With the with the you know uh, this thing from the demigod, he was because he was not purified. But, but Mata Ji, purified. But, just hold on. Just hold on. Yeah. But what happened? He became very humble after seeing the Lord. You know, tears of love started flowing from his eyes. then he said no no i do not want anything i do not want kingdom i do not want anything but god still gave him the kingdom his revengeful attitude towards his step mother that got dissolved he forgave her and he offered her obeisances his heart became purified he got engaged in shuddha bhakti right this is how when you get any benediction from vishnu this is all how that happens and when you get benediction from uh, a demigod you may not be able to sustain it for long right now eventually what happened you can see this in this picture eventually vishnu or is vishnu killed hiranyakashipu right and in case of dhruva what did vishnu do he came with lotus and he came with his shank right he, he put it on his head so that you know he becomes purified he gets all the intelligence to offer lovely lovely prayers to lord vishnu and uh, gada is for चक्र एंड गदाई स्वर द डीम्स एंड शंख एंड द लोटस फ्लावर पद्मिटीज 
by demigods are temporary and it is uh, you know uh, it is not long lasting right so, but what krishna gives he always purifies and he gives uh, permanent benefits to uh, permanent benefits to us right so and also timing is also very important right so in case of parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj uh, uh, he, he he knew that he is going to die in 7 days so he asked um, uh, sukadev goswami that you know will i will i be able to attain krishna bhakti will i be able to attain vaikuntha planet in 7 days sukadev goswami said wait 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 i will i will um, i will tell you one story yes yeah, so there was one uh, so i will tell you a story of katwanga devotee who was a devotee of krishna and katwanga devotee had helped devatas into something and devatas became very very happy with him then katwanga katwanga he said that you know can you please tell me that how much time do i have to live so he said you just have one moment okay you just have one moment so he in that one moment what happened he said okay i have one moment it was like less than a less than an hour he immediately came down to his pallet sat in front of the lord and started chanting the name of the lord and because he was sat he sat started chanting the name of the lord immediately he was taken to vaikuntha so you see it is not only six months it is just one moment right you saw that okay. brahmana who pointed his fingers it was not three or four lifetimes it was just one moment also so depending upon your faith depending upon your devotional service yeah the, the, uh, that depends upon how quickly you can attain krishna bhakti right so how can we attain krishna bhakti in our regular life right one who sticks to his vows and resolutions you had made new year resolutions right so i uh, so you should stick to your vows make small mataji mataji this is two minutes this two minutes energy don't make too big vows make small vows but you must stick to your vows if you have decided that you will chant two rounds five rounds eight rounds stick to your vows yeah and even if there are temptations even there are distractions you have you will have to fight your mind you will have to fight through the situation and ensure that you stick to your vows distractions will be there for everyone ऐसा नहीं है कि वो तो वो तो फ्री वेले बैठे उनको क्या प्रॉब्लम है मेरे मेरे को देखो कितना क्या क्या इतना बड़ा प्रॉब्लम आ गया व्हाट एवर इट इज ट्राई टू स्टिक टू योर वर्ड्स ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट फॉर द थिंग ओके सो वी विल गो टू विल टेक क्वेश्चंस आल्सो बट वी हैव अ नाइस क्विज यू वांट टू सॉल्व द क्विज फर्स्ट एंड देन टेक क्वेश्चंस नॉट फर्स्ट माय क्वेश्चंस भक्ति but hmm. it was not fulfilled to reach goloka and we reached vaikuntha so hmm. what will do there there no what what is the problem i didn't understand what will you do there matlab you want to go to goloka yeah to vaikuntha yeah so what but don't worry krishna will take you to goloka if you want to go to goloka don't worry means vaikuntha and goloka are not same no they are different you saw that chart no फॉर्मली Krishna is there with his cowherd boys playing with his cowherd boys playing with gopis and all that doing all his pastimes. So, so Krishna in an informal form is in Goloka in formal form. He is in Vaikuntha. Whatever is your desire, Krishna will land you there. If you do not want to do formal share worship, he will land you in Goloka. Don't worry about that. Means like Mata ji, means if we like Mata. go to Vaikuntha, so Krishna will be there also. We can ask that I want to don't I don't want to Vaikuntha. I want to Goloka. So we'll take uh, this. Yes. Desire, you desire with pure devotional service. You sanction your desire. If you are worthy, he, he is not. He is like a. He is like a loving father. He is not like a strict father. No, no, no. Abhi tum bhai kunta hai. Abhi tumko to itna gam samay yahan pe guzarna hi padega. Fir aap jaoge. Aisa kuch nahi hai. He is like a loving father. He will take you wherever you want. But just that your faith and devotional service should be very strong. 
if you okay. are worth if you are worthy then you can go into vaikuntha or goloka because they, whatever you want to because they are of the same level of importance mata ji can you reshare the uh, link cause i was accidentally left it so the chat box is empty now mata ji mata ji i have a question arya yes 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 one Mata second nitya ji yeah arya yes yes arya nitya and shandani ji yes uh, mata, mata ji if we are not answer for arya's question one second nitya and shares arya go ahead mata ji if we are not a devotee of krishna still krishna loves us yes of course like i said right even in the the uh, even in mosquito there is krishna in form of a paramatma shirodayak shri vishnu even in the stool the insects in the stool there also krishna is there in form of shirodayak shri vishnu cockroach there is vishnu shirodayak shri vishnu so krishna is there in every living entity krishna never leaves us we have no interest in krishna that is why you know we are we get distracted from krishna krishna always okay, lies to us yeah, yes nityansh जी आर्या हैड सेड अबाउट द भगवत गीता क्वेश्चन राइट लाइक वी शुड शी हैड आस्क लाइक द लाइक व्हाय आर देयर सो मेनी बुक्स एंड ऑल दैट ऑल फॉर एंड डिफरेंट रिलीजन सो शी हैड आस्क राइट माता जी सो आई हैव अ आंसर ओके यू यू गिव एन आंसर बट आई विल टेक अ सेपरेट सेशन ऑन दैट बिकॉज़ माता जी माता जी नो आई हैव अ टू टू लाइन आंसर माता टू लाइन आंसर इज दैट ऑल अदर रिलीजियंस इंक्लूडिंग हिंदूइज्म केम केम लाइक इन कलयुग नॉट इन अदर युग्स इट केम इन कलयुग माता जी बट Mataji, in quiz, there is one question. What are qualities of a sincere devotee? He takes spiritual vows and stick to them. This is the correct answer, but they are uh, sh- showing wrong. Yes, Mataji, and it is coming that no correct answer for that. Oh, yes, Mataji. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yes, Mataji, that is the problem. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I will just do it right. Mataji. Mataji. In the one second, one second, one second. Mata ji, Mata ji. Mata ji, Vaikuntha is also permanent, right? If anyone goes there, he'll never come back, right? He will never come back. I have corrected the answer. Yes, he will never come back. Mata ji. Yes. Uh, in the you. quiz, what are the qualities of a sincere devotee? He takes. Yeah, yeah, I have corrected that. Yeah, the yes. Yes, yes, Ishani. <clears throat> mataji i wanted to ask uh, what is the definition of uh, being uh, pure what is being pure so pure means that shuddha bhakti means doing everything for krishna cooking for krishna living for krishna whatever you do you do it for krishna so that is above above the mode of goodness that is like shuddha sattva everything that you do okay. you live mataji okay. i got all the questions right Okay, very nice. Akshar also got all questions right. Very Mata ji, nice. same. Very nice. Very good. Yes. Any other questions that you have? You can answer. Mata ji, can we leave? Yes. yes. If you are yes. done with the quiz, then only you can leave. Otherwise, please attend the quiz and then leave. Okay, Mata ji. Mata ji, the quiz was too easy. You too easy. Acha. <laughs> good. That means you know all the answers. Very nice. Mata ji. Yes. Mataji, I got hundred out of hundred. Mataji, even I got hundred out of hundred. Very nice, very good. 